Leanne Ridgeway from Rockwell Collins. And a couple of the key trends that, that we're seeing in the industry right now for simulation and training are first and foremost would be the move into live virtual constructive training. And with that, we're seeing uh, the need for more training being done in the uh, cockpit itself and with such things as embedded symbology and training on the real live avionics and displays. And the problem we're really trying to solve with LVC is that time and space constraint, as well as working within an operational budget constraint and being able to take more training curriculum and move it off of the live assets. And so I think over the next five years, we're really going to see that start to come together in a, in a holistic environment, complete with standards across uh, the open architecture frame and across uh, multiple ent entities. So I think that's going to be the biggest driver that the industry is going to see. A uh, second trend that I'm seeing in the industry really is um, going to be this new training curriculum and how we deal with the next gen airspace, for example. We've got new young pilots coming in and the young pilots may be training on unmanned vehicles. And that training uh, curriculum is much different than putting a pilot in a live aircraft. So I think we're really starting to see new, new ways to train pilots that have different human factors interfaces and also new distributive learning that allows for training in remote locations. Hi, my name is Andy Beal. I'm with WorldViz. We're a virtual reality toolkit provider and uh, optical tracking provider. We are seeing a, a huge growth in the use of immersive virtual reality with full tracking systems for the construction and architecture industry. What I'm showing here is a visualization of a hospital operating room that allows on site a surgical team to explore virtual designs as they would be built. And this is to replace the current technique, which is to build physical full-scale mock-ups that get torn down at a huge waste of dollars and just materials. We can come in and do, do many more uh, models, allow the team to stay put, try one out, move booms around, place in virtual nurses, virtual assistants, say, no, this one doesn't work, give me the next design. They try the next design, move, rearrange, walk around. This is a chief surgeon who is not trained in VR, who's able to walk around, see this, explore this one-to-one -one scale in the full operating room size, and make decisions right on the spot. We're having construction firms just wow that, that these kind of decisions can be made on site, one time, done. 